My name is Jessica and welcome to my 34 week pregnancy update, pregnant with baby number five. Thank you for those of you that are tuning in to see another week of my journey, pregnant with my little girl Georgia. I'm super excited as I'm getting closer and closer to my due date. Uh, my last baby was born at 37 weeks and so I really feel like, you know, she might be here within the next three weeks and I'm really excited about that. Um, my husband thinks that I'm nesting because I'm kind of like all of a sudden panicking, realizing, holy cow, there's so much that needs to get done. So I'm like really rearranging, cleaning out cupboards, getting everything ready. And um, like we got out her, a lot of the baby stuff from storage, we got out the pack and play and the, um, with the attachments on the top, like the changing station, um, the swing, I set up all of, like, I put blankets on the pack and play. Um, there's, like, a little sleeping part, and then there's a little changing table part. And I have that all ready. Um, I got all her clothes washed and ready. I got the hospital bags packed. Um, they're completely packed and ready. So, like, if I went into labor tonight, it's all ready. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't even believe that we're that close. But I still feel like there is so much to do and I don't feel like I have a lot of energy. And I apologize for looking crazy tonight. Uh, I have had a sick, sick, sick 16 month old baby. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's, he's teething. He's getting a left upper molar. And um, he's just had a fever and been crying and fussy and um, had the runs and he just hasn't been feeling good and it is so unlike him. He's normally the most easygoing, chill baby and um, he's just, he's been waking up and crying and crying and wanting to be held and I feel like it's my job as his mommy to just hold him and comfort him and, you know, rub his hair and rub his back as long as he needs because he's clearly, you know, not feeling good and, um, you know, he's not just crying, just being fussy for no reason. And so I have really not gotten much sleep. Additionally, today was my oldest daughter's birthday and she turned 14. And so um, her dad and I have joint custody. And so I went out and visited her and took her birthday presents and everything. And so it was just, it's been a long day. And um, I didn't even film my update yesterday, which was technically my 34 weeks. And so I was like, oh, I better get it done today. <laughs> Otherwise, if I procrastinate any longer, I, I'd all of a sudden be 35 weeks and then it wouldn't be a 34 week update. And so um, update on Miss Georgia, uh, depending on what website you look at, she weighs anywhere between four and three quarters pounds. And three quarter pounds, I don't know if I said that right, four and three quarter pounds and five pounds and is about 18 inches long. So she's getting to about, you know, the size of a newborn baby. Uh, she's pretty big and pretty active and I feel like she's probably pretty close to a five pound baby. Uh, I don't typically have big babies. I've never had one over uh, into the eight pound range. I've never had an eight pound baby. Um, but who knows, maybe she'll be my first. And um, let's see, the websites say that her her skin is fully um, getting like plumped out. Um, up until now, like they're really thin and um, if they're born prematurely, their skin's really red and wrinkly. And in these last few weeks, their skin really plumps up with fat and it gets smooth and soft and pink and loses all the wrinkles and everything and so she's starting to plump up. Uh, it says that her fingernails and toenails have reached the end of her fingers and toenails like they've actually grown to the edges now. Um, so they're fully grown in and so that's pretty exciting and also her central nervous system and what else was it? Oh and her lungs. Her central nervous system and her lungs are almost, I mean, they're they are virtually fully developed. Um, those are kind of the last things that get developed, um, especially the lungs. And so if you go into preterm labor, a lot of times they'll give you a shot, a steroid shot to help 
develop speed up the development of your of your baby's lungs because that's one of the number one problems preterm babies have that and with their eyes so that's kind of update on baby girl um she's a girl but if you're having a boy this is actually the week where their testes typically descend and so if you're having a boy you can be excited <laughs> excited about that yay and um some babies are born with them undescended i can't remember the number it's really low but if they are they usually still descend sometime within the first year so you don't have to worry too much about that um this week uh moms start to get more dizzy and more fatigue sleeping gets harder more back problems um, your hips start to ache all your ligaments and your joints naturally start relaxing there's hormones that get released in your body that help uh, relax all your joints and ligaments that um, is to help helping your body prepare to give birth but it also can make you feel off balance and um, because of the increased blood flow in your body and everything you um, can start to feel kind of dizzy it's also normal to start getting some vision changes and it's because there's like some fluid buildup that starts happening in your eyes and so it can actually cause some vision changes or some blurry um, vision and so obviously if it's anything really worrisome call your doctor but it is normal to have like some slight vision changes and I actually kind of feel like I have a little bit um, I haven't really been feeling dizzy, but I've definitely been feeling tired and hungry and um, not as thirsty um, as I had been feeling, but um, mostly just tired. Like I'm really starting to get tired and um, I'm really starting to get nervous. I think I mentioned that in my last few videos just because I'm going to have two babies and with my little guy sick. The past few days and with how clingy he's been and just really needing mommy um it's pretty scary to me to think of having like two babies that are needing mommy like that and i know it's totally doable i've talked with my husband and i mean there's people that have you know a two-year-old a one-year-old and twin newborns and do it and i know that i could too it's just having two little ones is pretty overwhelming um, but I know I can do it and so that's just me sharing you know a little bit of a little bit of my normal mommy fears I guess I just worry that I won't have enough energy or attention for both of them or one of them might be crying and need me and um, or they both might be crying and need me and I have to kind of juggle that and so it's just gonna be a learning um, curve once she's born especially because I'm gonna be nursing her and I know that my son is um, going to probably have you know some adjustment issues and some jealousy and a little bit of you know uncertainty his routines probably gonna get disrupted and so I'm really glad that my husband will be here and be able to help and really give our son a lot more attention and love and you know really step up and help him not feel left out in the hospital bag we also packed we got a present for him tonight at Walmart we got him a little pack of like five of these cute little like toddler cars and um, he saw it go into the cart but then of course he forgot about it so by the time we give it to him at the hospital it's gonna be brand new to him again and so when he comes in to meet the baby um, I'm going to give him that and tell him it's from the baby and you know let him have a present and help him feel special Something else that I read was that you should put up pictures of your other children um, in the delivery room, or not in the I mean in your um, in your hospital room. So when they come to visit, then they can see that you didn't forget about them. Like they're still, you know, your priority, and you love them, and you didn't forget about them. So I'm definitely going to do that. I like that idea. And then the present for my son. Um, I'm also gonna. I have a basket, and I'm gonna leave it by the couch and I'm going to fill it up with different I'm gonna run down to the dollar store and get like some coloring books some inexpensive toys and um, maybe some treats I'm not sure just some different stuff and I'm gonna fill that basket up and so then 
when I'm nursing the baby and Gunner, my son comes to me and needs me, um, then I can pull something out of that basket and, you know, do an activity with him or do a little puzzle or, or draw or color or give him a treat or something so that he has things that help him feel special and um, not left out. And so I can hear, oh, my baby's up again. My husband's getting him right now. And so, um, my poor baby, he's so sick. I'm going to have to finish up this video and go and cuddle my poor baby. But, and that's unfortunate. He's only been asleep for maybe an hour. And so, yeah, he's already up again. We might, I, I think if he's not feeling better by tomorrow, I'm going to have to take him to the doctor. But anyways, um... For a pregnancy update, I packed the hospital bags. I have almost all the cloth diapers um, ready for Georgia. I just keep feeling like I don't have enough. And they say to have 24 to 36. And um, like tw it's supposed to be about 12 a day for however many days you want to go without having to do laundry. I'm just so worried. I've never cloth diapered a newborn and I'm worried I won't have enough. So I keep buying more because I'm just like so afraid that I'm not going to have enough. I have like... I think 22 of the all-in-one ones um, and then I have a bunch of the different covers and then you can put pre-folds in them so it's basically like an insert that you can take that part out and put in a new one so those kind of count as more than one but um, I still don't have 36 and so I keep buying them and um, I guess we'll just see where I'm at with that when she's born and hopefully there's enough because I'm planning on taking them to the hospital and cloth diapering with her from the hospital from diaper number one on and um, our son is still in cloth diapers he has been since August 12th I think and um, it's still going great still going really good uh, he with him being really sick he had some really bad diapers and that that was a little trying but um, I still don't miss disposables and I don't miss spending all the money on disposables and um, Let's see. Yeah, we have pretty much everything set up for the baby. Hospital bags packed. Um, that's pretty much everything that I can think of for this week. I'll um, show you my, my belly. Uh, it's still... Oh, I forgot to weigh myself. But I, I know I'm right around like 152. Um, and I still... No stretch marks yet, which is such a blessing. Baby number five and still no stretch marks on my belly. I have a few on my sides like I've said before I've confided before I have a few on my sides and a few like on the very top of my butt but as far as on my belly I don't have any um and so I'm really happy about that so I'll show you my belly and then I will go and take care of my little sick guy so here and I'm wearing super super sexy maternity pants so I'll pull those down and here, oh, you can't really see. Let's see if I can angle this down. There we go. Okay, so there is my belly. Oh, Georgia was actually just moving. I wonder if we'd be able to see her move. I have a little bit of the sniffles myself. Here's on the side. And, oh, yeah, now Georgia's moving. See if I can, see if I can get it so you can see her. Because when she gets moving, it's pretty good. Uh, she's not moving too much right now. Here's the other side. And then from the back. And it's gotten cold here. It was so hot. It was so hot all summer and I was just wearing shorts and I was free or so hot all summer and now all of a sudden because we live in Montana and the cold air has hit and it is cold and now I'm in sweatshirts and maternity jeans and I'm like oh my goodness I'm I, there's really no happy medium in Montana it's about nine months of freezing cold weather and then three months of unbearably unreasonably hot there's really no in-between. There's like a handful of days throughout the year where it's just comfortable. It's really, 
I've lived here my whole life and it's getting old. And so that's why I'm all decked out in warm stuff now. So anyways, um, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, anything, I always check. And so I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have, um, especially if this is you know, baby number two, three, four, five, and you have any questions or anything about cloth diapering or anything like that. And so I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, I hope everyone's doing great and have a great night and a great week. And I will see you next week. Bye.